Right, ready. Okay, and welcome to the loser bracket final already with Vegas Crawdon and London Conspiracy. The winner of this one will face Power Rangers in the grand final best of five. But first we need to get through this match. Uh, the loser, however, will get 500 euros and uh, a nice thank you for playing with us. And uh, let's go into the match already. With me is Moretti Class. We haven't cast it in some well, so uh, how do you? How are you feeling, man? How are you feeling? It's fine. I find your comment earlier funny. It's like 500 euros and and, and, a, and a thank you from us. It's like <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny. It's like the thank you for us is also worth about as much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it is. It is. It is. I mean, we really have to thank them for playing. Really. Yeah, definitely. We're just joining in for the tournament already. We had all I mean, these, these great teams. teams so. But anyway, let's let's have a look then. Uh, IO ban, which is pretty obvious in these levels of Dota. I mean, who picks IO usually has an insane win rate. Yeah, that was a sixty to seventy usually. So obviously a good ban here, and the Queen of Pain pick, which is pretty obvious as well, followed by Electric and Beastmaster. These heroes have basically been popping up everywhere, so nothing unusual there. Do you think the Beastmaster is just to block Mech? Or also just because Skyluck is also a good player with the Beastmaster? Or I think it's... Both? I, I, just, I just think it's, in general, really, Beastmaster has been picked a lot these days because he's got that reliable stun. It's not It's not because he counters anything. It's not because you can... It's not because Skyluck can play him well. I'm just, gonna, I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out right now. In my opinion, Beastmaster is currently very strong. Not broken, very strong. Five seconds remain. And... He's just getting picked up because he is, let's put it in, let's put it in more technical terms, balanced. Yeah, he's pretty balanced. Uh, yeah, it's really, it's just about the, uh, lot about the roar. This Rubik pick is also pretty good. Rubik, Queen of Pain, they actually ban out, yeah, the clockworks, they're, they're really already starting to ban against Mac here. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, picking the Beastmaster yourself, banning out the clockwork, those are all heroes that he likes to play. Definitely. We'll see what he does for his offlane then. Let's see what Sima has in mind for him. Maybe even just a Queen of Pain offlane already and now London is just wasting uh, bands. Five seconds remaining. On trying to get mech heroes out. But yeah, they oh, banned uh, the Shadow Demon. Pretty basic, What's I want to say. With, uh, you just want, don't want to play for the Shadow Demon last track. Of course. No, oh, there's a dog sitter. They're obviously panning up my kid. I mean. <laughs> oh, well, where else is a dog sitter going to be played? Jungle. Really odd, yeah, really pubish. It could be. Incredibly pubish. Like, why would Vega play Darks in jungle? I don't know. I, I, honestly, if they pick up a Darks in the jungle, I'm pretty sure London Conspiracy will just pick an, pick an Enigma. Oh, of course. I mean, I really want to see an Enigma, though, just because I can shout Black Hole. <laughs> I, I, yeah, man, then you need to know your, what is it, your webcam as well, and do the, the hands like for the Black Hole. <laughs> get, that, get that Black Hole guy from the International Free. Yeah, with the, what was it, the purple morph suit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> so now I know how you go to the Swiss Championship, man. You're going to wear the, a purplish morph suit, shouting no, black man, I'll look like I'll look like some kind of pedo if I do that, no. no it would be no. funny for me. I want to see the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. Anyway, PL ban. I'm, I'm... <laughs> PL ban, uh... Right, I'm just guessing they don't want to play against PL in this case You're because PL has been very powerful. I mean, he's but since his buffs with the, well, you could say buffs with his change to uh, doppelganger as well as Phantom Rush, he's been picked up quite a lot, and I can understand why. I mean, the ability to multiply yourself and then just completely wreck enemy teams, and now from now on in the mid game is very powerful. Yeah, it is. And also, if you don't want to play it versus a Quop, actually, because if a Quop doesn't have a BKB and she, let's say, blinks in aggressively, then mm. she has no more mana. That's a good point, yeah. And that's also really what you want to look out for. Spending out the PL just makes it a little bit easier, but the Disruptor on the other side, eh, you blink and then you get a Static Storm on your face, which is, well... You want to take out the Disruptor first as the Queen of Pain, and that could be a problem, since usually you don't want to focus on him. Not at all. Um, here's the thing, they pick up Gyro, which is a pretty obvious pick in this case, since Gyro has not been banned out, and he is very good these days. Um, but what I'm interested in is this Nyx ban, I mean, 
Mix has been played on and off, but not really consistently enough that I'd say he warrants a ban. I'm just going to put it out and say that I think it's a counter versus Slash Rack and Disruptor that they're looking for here. Yeah, that it, it is a little bit, definitely, but it's again, it's an offlane hero. Uh, of course, Mag again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I think somewhere in the mind they're like, okay, as long as we stop Mac, we stop the entire team, but I think they're forgetting about the other two cores, you know, no one in Pasha, so. Yeah, but oh, yeah just, uh, also, yeah, it blows up the Lash Rack. Once Lash Rack gets a lot of items, gets a lot of intelligence, he gets a lot of damage from the mana burn. <laughs> it's just how it goes, and Disruptor is just generally weak versus the Nyx. Beastmaster is okay, Bristleback as well. Well, well Bristleback is actually, you could say, a bit more... So uh, bet is better versus the Knicks. Yeah, like the mana is versus him, you know, it's nice, but usually you're not able to kill the Bristleback. No, not really. Five seconds remaining. Especially if you're attacking. Well, I mean, you have to attack from the front. That's usually what you don't want to do time. as a Knicks. You no, know, you want to stay in the back end, you know, so you can still run out with your Carpus. And here we have a Dazzle. This is probably just. A a big uh, counter pick as well here because uh, Dazzle plus Bristleback combo in the lineup of London Conspiracy would have been really really nice because they already have to be required lockdown in the next Storm Kinetic Field together with a Roar and Spade Earth so they have enough there. But they could pick up a Dazzle possibly and with Vega picking it up for themselves they have to the guarantee of getting Bristleback you know low on armor easier to kill as well as mm. just buffing up your entire own team to take less damage of the Bristleback. Oh, definitely. And if Bristleback does get a bit too close, you always you always have Shadow Wave. I mean, if he's if this is what I think it is, but I don't think it's going to be what I think it is. Uh, maybe it could be. I was thinking maybe offline Bristle, but uh... no, no, no. Beastmaster is there. What am I thinking? Uh... <laughs> Safe lane Bristle mid Leshrac maybe. Yeah, uh, but Leshrac versus Corp, I would say Corp actually wins it pretty heavily. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, annoying for the last track, he doesn't really win at any stage during the mid phase. His base damage sucks in comparison to Queen of Pain, so he can't trade hits. And if he does try nuking, I mean, Queen of Pain can blink away before any major damage comes along, so he has to request a gank. Yeah, definitely. And, would and they ban out the puck, so they're expecting something, something that isn't mid Queen of Pain, I'm guessing. Yeah, uh, I can think of why. Just due to the fact that I've been on so many mid laners or off laners that they're like, okay, well, let's. You know, it's it's just going to be a Queen of Pain on the off lane. They think they're sure about that. And even Puck can be on the off lane as well, actually. So. Yeah. It's kind of an hybrid here, same as Queen of Pain. You can play it on the off lane or safe lane or mid lane. Off the lanes are fine. You know. Oh, crap. <laughs> and uh, Morality has some friends calling him now, so... And they, they just pick up an X here. Okay, so they're just gonna run... Uh, we're gonna assume it's gonna be a 1-1-2 one, one, with X in the jungle here. We're gonna, uh, it's interesting to see how they're gonna lane this. Because Lash Rack versus Queen of Pain in the middle with no real potential of somebody rotating. It might be really, really tough. So that's... That's also really, really greedy, actually. Because we were joking before about, you know, getting a Darkster in the jungle and stuff like that. And that leaves your lanes really, really weak. And with, if you're going to put the Axe in the jungle, it's the same idea. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, I'm not sure that this Axe pick was the right decision. I'm just wondering about one thing now. It might just be a Lesrek support now. Or Beastmaster support. But then, but who's, but who's mid? Who's, what? Rest of the Beastmaster? Rest of the back? I don't know. Against the Queen of Pain? I mean, Bristleback could none do well. None of these well. are good for this Queen of Pain. Yeah, none of them. Oh. It's like, this axe is so weird. It is. Um, I, I'm not really sure how it will fit in. Like, I get, and you know, it's, it's great versus Dazzle. Like, no denying that. You know, lockdown through BKB is great versus the Gyro as well. And all of the heroes are pretty low on HP in the beginning, definitely. Gyrocopter will be, yeah, once, you know, an Aghanims is out for Queen of Pain and the Satanic BKB for Gyrocopter, they have more, but essentially they're all fairly low HP heroes. So I get oh, yeah. the idea in that, you know, but I have the feeling oh. like, yeah, and, uh, oh. 
Oh. I just had the feeling that it's just a little bit too greedy, and with them dying here, this might just be a full on aggressive try lane thrown in the face of London Conspiracy, and I'm not completely sure if they're ready for that. Pick. Yeah, this undying pick makes me fear that London Conspiracy might not end up on the high note here. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is going to really... Lanes are going to suffer for London Conspiracy. Unless they can do some great early game stuff. Yeah, because, okay, so we have... S2 is going to be playing the Disruptors as a support. Madeira is the position 1. So we have in position 1 Bristlebeck, Spartan is support. Uh, Kisha. Kisha is usually the carry. Uh, or the mid, mid. Yeah, so it's going to be a mid Lash wreck. So then we have Spart so we have a support X or Jungle X. Position 1... Bristleback and then maybe Beastmaster still in the offlane? Maybe, maybe. We'll see, we'll see though. Let's just see how it all goes. Let's just introduce the teams now. Let's stop theory crafting. We're not good at that anyway. We have, uh, <laughs> for Vega on the, on the dire side, we have Solo playing the Rubik. A lot of good luck, have fun, shouted from the both teams. We have Pasha playing the Gyrocopter. We have Mech playing the Undying. We have no one playing the Queen of Pain, and we have Sima the Slayer playing the Dazzle. Alright, and on the side of London Conspiracy, we have Madeira playing the Bristleback. We have SSA Spartan playing the Axe. We have Kisa playing the Leshrac. We have S224J, or S just S2, I'm going to say, playing the uh, Disruptor. We have a complimentary pause here. And last but not least, we have Skylark playing the Beastmaster. Okay, and we actually had a, a shout out here from uh, from Spartan. Shout out Lemon Dogs Manager, guys. It's good stuff. I know his name. <laughs> and uh, for trading a sprite for a coke, this is gonna. It was probably about the uh, was the Thinkfest Razor Cup two Siberian land they're currently at. So you know, good stuff. Good job on giving uh, them a nice. Go hang on, they're at the land. Hang on a sec. They're at the land right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm they're either playing at the land right now and finding some computers there or laptops. Or they went to the uh, back to back to the hotel and started up everything there. It's one of those two things. Like that's also why I kind of think that uh, uh, Vega are a little bit more favored due to the fact you know they're playing in an unfamiliar uh, setting right now. Yeah, they 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 really are. <laughs> they are they are dedicated. I've got to give them that. And you can actually see it a little bit back in the old. What was it? Sixty to eighty or something like that. Or uh, on eBay? To make a cup of tea. I think it was, yeah. Oh, on those lines, so. Yeah. And somebody is Dota 2 best GR. Stop giving shout outs, man. <laughs> it's like a billboard, man. <laughs> it's like, like that bulletin board you get in schools the whole time, you know? <laughs> shout out to the teacher. Being a teacher. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it looks like we're going to see an engagement on the bot rune here. Oh, and nice DK hitting Oh, three. yeah. Wow. It's already really low. They get the bounty rune, but does Vega want to follow this one up now? They're just going to leave it. I feel like Solo wanted to tether can use someone, but unfortunately failed. Yeah, it's. You know, you want to get those cliff here, you know, people on the cliff, you know. And get that's them stuck there for three minutes. That's an instant D ward for LC. Pretty good spotting that one out. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, still, this, it, this, line sh this lane should be favored in uh, the side of Vega. Yeah, I thought this was going to happen. Like, Dazzle was going to go onto the offlane with the Undying just to harass, just to take Shadow Wave. Yeah, exactly. Just to take Shadow Wave and make sure Madeira, whenever he comes from last hit, gets punished by that Shadow Wave heal. Just look at it. He's already yeah. down to 200 HP. It's, it's, it's hilarious. He's not going to be able to do much up here, uh, down here. We're just trying to actually punish this, what is it, this Creed with uh, dual lanes. It's Maybe. amazing, really. Yeah, but, you know, Sky due to this, you know, Skylake is able to get some farm, but... Don't have Oh, nice DK once again. Hitting two? Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, hang on. My mates are really getting annoying with these calls. I'll be right back. Uh, no problem. And uh, yeah, this is bot lane so far. It's just a lot of harassment coming out of the side of Vega here, keeping them down. And in the mid lane, you can see it already a little bit on the last hit. It's actually at the same little bit. But essentially, Lesrex should fall down a little bit once no one gets already two points here into uh, Shadow Poison. We we'll start spamming that out onto Kishi. He will take a lot of damage. Oh, blink aggressively forwards mid earth. Oh, exactly on the mark. 
And he's able to just walk back a little bit, but it's already down half of the HP of Keisha. Just from that. And well, in the meantime, on top, we get a first blood for Solo. Oh, that was a little bit better miss there because we're already looking at middle here, but... Skylark probably just got lift up put back again. Bothered here going behind the tower already here. Well, Sima just picks up the kill here. And now there is a kinetic field pulled out. Yeah, and they're just going to start walking away. A lot of health right now in the undying with all these DK snacks. And he gets off another one and kills the disruptor with it. S2 is dead already here. At least Madeira is back right now, but just look at this lane. It's just completely going the way of Vega already. Mac is just walking around. He doesn't want to be found by the uh, by the axe. While Solo with the haze room does find him. Starts for putting a little bit of harassment, but it's going to be end with that. It seems like I miskind quite a fight. Yeah, they went to... What is it? First bot on top. Solo was able to pick that one up. And then on bottom, there was a little bit of a tower diving, double kill as well, and live back on S2. He puts down the kinetic storm here, or, or kinetic field I mean, but still he will die. Spartan starts walking in, he has a level 1 call, but not really able to change anything there. There's already 5 kills for Vega, which, you know, as expected, are playing it really aggressively. I mean, they can, they can do it. They have an undying, they have a dazzle, they have a queen of pain. <laughs> Yeah, there's no real way to stop them there. Oh, it, and, it, and of course they have the freaking gyrocopter on the top lane. Yeah, he should be fine solo laning versus uh, versus the Beastmaster here. Oh yeah, I mean, he, he all he has to do is harass the Beastmaster a bit and... He can just use Flak Lenin to keep him back and kill off the boar whenever he pops it. Or just run at the boar and try to kill it. And there you go, he just kills it off with the, with the rocket barrage. A little bit more farm for him. It's... It looks like LC is just getting completely outplayed here. Yeah, this is just this is just because of the weak lanes that they get because of this. The uh the X in the jungle. So once you get this blink there, he really needs to make things happen. And that's gonna still gonna be hard considering the lineup on L on Vega. Yeah, he will get a totem in his face, DK stacks and it will be really Not only that, I mean it's like also if he, and if he doesn't kill the dazzle or the dazzle isn't in the call, that's Shadow Grave as well. Well that doesn't matter for an X. Oh sure, yeah, it goes through. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Game sense is missing here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you were close, but yeah, that's uh... I mean, okay, let's let's put it in another situation. That's Oh, well, Madeira looks like he's in a bit of trouble here. He gets oh. Sol up until him. In a totem, and he just starts running him down. He's already down to 100 HP. Is there gonna be another DK? And... Oh, that's the yeah, no, that, and I'm... even a nice oh. glimpse back into a double call here. They're gonna maybe, yeah, they're gonna get a double kill back for this. This, this. this was not worth it for Vega. I mean, it was slightly worth it, but not really. <laughs> Sound is delayed on the chat. At least that's what the people are saying. It's... Oh, you've always had these problems, haven't you? I don't know what, what it is, to be quite honest. E. Well, we'll figure it out in the while, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll, oh, think, I'll try to fix it in a break then, I guess. Alright then, uh, apparently uh, Skylark is not having the best of times up on the top lane. Is it really so, by the way, uh, Chad, is it really so bad that you can't watch anymore or... Because if it really is, then uh, I need to fix that. Well, apparently the chat is complaining and you know what happens when Twitch starts complaining. Yeah, then everybody goes. And there you go, Totem is out, your three-man gank onto Mech. There's gonna be the call onto him. He's actually fairly low already over half of his HP. He starts running Soul Rip onto himself. Then cancelled because <laughs> that would have been missing. And actually, Mag. actually, Mag. Is yeah. Really so they had to rotate so many people down for it, and they even one of them died. Well, two of them died. Also, almost even Spartan died there as well. They had to rotate oh, in so was... many people. That was not good. <laughs> At okay, so. Sound is delayed, everybody's saying about 4 or 5 seconds, so I'm gonna just... I'm gonna restart the stream.